Which you guys got another product review. These are the Igo R3 RGB uh, fans here. Now you get three of these in the box, and uh, these are a great option if you're looking for RGB type fans on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money. And these are very, very affordable, and you get three of them in here plus the controller. Uh, so you'll be able to put these into your case and make the case look all nice. So let's have a look at the specs. Now the specs on here are the sizes of these fans are 120 by 120 by 25 millimeters. The weight is 150 grams, so you get three fans in here, 1500 revs per minute at full speed, 23.5 decibels, the noise level, airflow is the 38 CFM, hydro bearings, and also we do have the rated current here, which is 0 0.35 amps, uh, rated voltage 12 volts, and also uh, rated power is 4.2 watts and the lifetime of these are 20,000 hours so this is everything you're going to get inside the box you're going to get your free fans here which we'll take a closer look at in a second you get three bags of screws for each of the fans here and you're going to get your instruction manual it's not much to it really it's just a piece of paper with some information um, but yeah that's about it really tells you how to just set it up it tells you how to connect it okay um, also you're going to get your controller cable which is your little control uh, so board here which will stick on the back of your computer or inside your computer somewhere and I'll show you how I've set this these up just to take on here. testing purposes and here's your connectors and you've got your actual uh, power here where you can um, turn these on change the colours and I'll show you how to work this in a second now take a look at the fan itself uh, you can remove these stickers if you want to um, you've also got this plastic uh, part here which is clear and this is the part that's going to light up any sort of color that you want here okay to match it with your color scheme and you've got these white accents on here on the back these are rubber this part is rubber the white bits are made of rubber so that will cut down and dampen down any vibration or anything like that and uh, you can see here we've got the fan itself in there quite a small fan but it's a uh, how many blades that got? It's got three, six, seven blades on here. And we're going to get these powered up and you'll be able to see uh, what they look like when they're all uh, powered on. And I'll show you them working. So let's get these powered up. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at how I've got this set up here. The, the actual fans will go into the board itself and uh, this one will go off to the computer and plug into a Molex cable and uh, I've got a little power lead here which I've just set up with a micro switch on it and uh, you can pick these up on Amazon uh, for, you know, for around about a pound or something like that, two pound and uh, these will help change the colour of the uh, actual lighting on here so you've got seven different uh, lighting programs on here and this will help you uh, change these rather than wire this to your reset button on your computer because you may need that you can use something like this to bypass uh, that. Okay, now you can make these yourself if you want to, but it's much easier just to buy them. And you can buy much more fancier ones, but this is easy to hide in your computer or route it outside. So you can just push the button and change it to whatever you like. Once you've got your desired color, you can unplug this. You don't have to have it on all the time. So we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna get these stacked up so you can see them all in action. So let me give you a sound test. So what you're going to hear now is the sound of the fans. So not too noisy. So here we've got some other color cycles here. This is a fast one. And uh, you're not going to get the true reflection of what the real colors look like because obviously the camera. But basically uh, they do look very nice and very sharp colors. It's a nice fading type color scheme here which will just rotate through the colors and you've got teal you've got green you've got red you've got blue and you can see them going through cycling here some of these colors won't show up exactly as they are in real life and that's because of the camera but you can see a very nice color displays here now you can also have these as a static color for whatever color you desire in your build so that's always a nice option as well and again uh, there's another type of style here this one's rotating slowly through the colors 
like a it's like a rainbowy effect going through the colors here and the colors are really vibrant they're not as i think they look a bit washed out on the camera but uh, they are very vibrant and uh, very decent rgb uh, fans for the money now you can also select single colors here like red and it shows up orange on the camera but it's red and then you just push the little micro switch here to change the color scheme to whatever color you want like blues and greens and stuff like that and you should be pretty much good to go from there so anyway i'll leave the link for these in the video description for you so if you're interested if you're after some decent affordable rgb color fans then check these ones out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos